The Gambia, known as the Smiling Coast of Africa, is situated along the Atlantic coast with an economy primarily based on agriculture and tourism, with a diverse ecosystem surrounding the Gambia River. The Green Reef Focus National Development Plan emphasized the need of private sector development as the engine of growth. The Gambia government, having its ambitious plan of developing the Trans-Gambia Corridor, has initiated the development of trade infrastructure and special economic zone, with the three major objectives. Economic Impact Assessment of the Trans-Gambia Corridor, GIS-based Spatial Development Plan, and Corridor Development Investment Plan. In line with the vision of developing the Trans-Gambia Corridor, a comprehensive GIS mapping is done identifying the project influence zones, categorised into primary, secondary, tertiary and extended catchment areas which encompasses the entire Gambia and ensuring balanced industrialization and economic development across the nation. The Trans-Gambia Corridor, a 26-kilometre stretch from Farafeni in the north to Masira in the south, crosses the Gambia River via the Seni-Gambia Bridge, serving as a strategic trade link in the centre of the Gambia. The Special Economic Zone site is strategically located in Soma along the Trans-Gambia Corridor on either side at one point five kilometres from the Masira border post to leverage the existing social and commercial infrastructure. Parcel A comprises the agriculture and other manufacturing zones, featuring seamless compatibility and shared infrastructure, while Parcel B includes the social, commercial, community, training and capacity building zones, with provisions for future development. The prioritised value chains and sectors for processing in the Trans-Gambia Corridor Special Economic Zone aligns well with the strategies, policies and development plans of the Gambia's government and relevant line ministries, apart from consideration for import substitution and export enhancing activities. The prioritised sector for processing includes Light Engineering and Construction Material Processing Zone, cereals, pulses and oil seeds, fruits, vegetables and tubers, processing zone, agroforestry and other agro products, processing zone, livestock processing zone, general manufacturing zone, including apparel, automotive, chemical and pharma and others, fisheries processing zone, dairy products processing zone, specialized infrastructure, Agricultural Transformation Centre, Utility Zone, Non-Processing Zones. The zones within the Special Economic Zone have been meticulously configured to leverage the Gambia's opportunities and core strengths. Inclusiveness is ensured with provisions for accommodating micro, mini, small, women entrepreneurs, first-generation promoters, medium enterprises, large-scale manufacturing industries along with its ancillary by-product manufacturing, value-added processing units. Various options insured with plotted developments, one-time long lease or monthly rentals or ready-built, plug-and-play facilities and multi-tenanted buildings or PEBs, based on individual sector potential and preferences. The master plan offers a flexible and modular approach adapting to the site's topography while ensuring ease of implementation, minimal environmental impact and cost optimization during both the implementation and operational phases. The detailed components of the master plan are water treatment plant, overhead tank, logistic zone, truck maintenance depot and fuel station, light engineering and construction material processing zone, cereals, pulses and oil seeds processing zone, 
specialised infrastructure. Fruits, vegetable and tubers processing zone. Agroforestry and other agro products processing zone. Dairy products processing zone. General manufacturing zone and other industries zone. Livestock processing zone. Sewage treatment plant. Solid waste management slash summer storage tank. Agricultural Transformation Center. Substation. Residential zone. Social and public amenities zone. Demo farms, training, research and development zone. Future expansion zone. Collection and pre-processing centers. Fish aggregation centers are located at strategic locations to collect the produced commodities from the rural catchment areas, ensuring sustained supply of raw materials to the special economic zone in terms of quality and quantity. A GIS-based spatial development master plan for the primary influence zone of TGC is prepared, highlighting the proposed components and projects envisioned for development within the 50 by 26 kilometer stretch. The Spatial Development Master Plan considers the existing context, land suitability, connectivity, and environmentally sensitive areas. The plan is phased with an initial focus on economic development through the TGCSEZ as the anchor project, followed by social, commercial, and community development, and later the creation of tourism and eco-recreational zones alongside enabling infrastructure with an emphasis on sustainable transportation solutions, including the proposal for a second airport in the Gambia. The project aims to offer a progressive business environment with diverse, investor-friendly opportunities. Once the comprehensive Transgambia Corridor Development Plan is put into action, it is anticipated to generate $606 million in annual transactions and create approximately 100,000 direct and indirect employment opportunities. Under the able leadership of the President, His Excellency Adama Barrow and Minister of Trade and Industry Honorable Babukar Oljuf, the Government of the Gambia is poised to implement this Trans-Gambia Corridor Development Project, aiming to drive industrialization, economic transformation, enhancing food security, thereby creating job opportunities, empowering women and youth, marking a revolutionary step in the Gambia's growth journey. Come and join in this journey for creating the future Gambia. Thank you.